Well, we think it's important that more countries support the Council of Europe Privacy Convention. This is the only uh, global framework uh, that provides legal protection for personal information. And it's critical today in our information age when so much personal information about us is collected and transferred. Do you think enough is known about data protection uh, generally on the ground by people who are affected by it? No, this is a very interesting issue. I've said in the United States that this is the most important, least well understood issue. We are affected by data protection concerns daily in our internet transactions, our bank records, and our medical records. Yet our ability to make legal change or to establish new protection seems to me quite limited. So in the US, for example, we're promoting a public debate about data protection to encourage more people and more political leaders to understand how important this issue is. Yeah, it's quite astonishing because some of the largest technology companies uh, that we've seen on planet Earth uh, are US-based, somehow or other, Google, um, Facebook, yeah. you know, Apple, Microsoft, uh, they're all there, but the, the, the privacy issue is, is not seemingly as important. Well, if you look uh, closely at the public opinion polls in the United States, there is a high level of concern about privacy. We have high levels of identity theft, we have high levels of financial fraud and data breach. So people are very much aware of the problem. What we don't have is a good sense of the solutions. How is it that we can have both growth, innovation, and also privacy protection and fundamental rights? And I think that is the key challenge. I think we need to avoid talking about trade-offs and balancing. I think we need to expect that both innovation and privacy protection uh, can be achieved. Can you see a day when the U.S. Uh, accedes to Convention 108? Yes, actually. I'm optimistic that over time the United States will accede to Convention 108. I think this would be done in part for practical reasons. Right now we simply don't have a clear legal framework in place to permit transporter data flows. And that legal framework is actually critical to allow businesses to provide services to consumers outside of their nation's borders. So I think it is in the interest of not only of the users of internet services, but also of the businesses to make sure that there's a robust legal framework in place. Council of Europe Convention 108 provides that framework. Now, looking forward, say, five years, where do you see uh, both uh, a globally connected world uh, in terms of data protection uh, and the U.S. joining that, uh, that, that uh, group, if you like? Right. I remain optimistic that the United States will continue to move and update uh, current data protection law. Uh, we have a long tradition of privacy protection in the United States, and many of the frameworks in Europe have, as their origins, uh, U.S. law. So I think there's more agreement here than there is disagreement. But it will take political will in the United States to make these decisions, to push forward legislative proposals, and to convince everybody, uh, consumers and businesses, about the need to update privacy law.